Morani. Harper's called a meeting at his place. We got a Stalin or us ranchers will be wiped out. Then take the boys to protect you. Uh, well, I'm taking Sawyer with me. The rest of the boys are busy. Say, Kim, when do we eat? Say, Happy, don't this beautiful country inspire anything more in you than a desire for grub? My stomach ain't got eyes. Well, at this rate, we'll never get to Sage Bill all that money that's waiting for us. Money, my eye. You're too big to believe in Sandy. Heading for a lot of trouble, and my back's been aching. Hold it, hold it. I know it by heart. Your bones ache and you, all that sort of thing. That looks like a pretty good place to eat over there. Come on, let's go. Happy you're loco. What about this term? Old Cherokee never would have sent for me to come unless he'd have found something. Or else he went broke and needed you to grub stake him again. The letter don't sound like it. Here's what he says. I struck it, Ken, near Sageville. Richer than I ever dreamed of. Come on, get your share. The old Cherokee always promised me half of what he found. That was an easy promise. Never fucked him. He has this time. Ah. Then why ain't you heard from him again? It's been a month since you got that letter. Maybe he's busy developing his claim. Oh. Why do you always look for trouble in the midst of peace and quiet? It ain't so peaceful around here as you think. What about that burned barn we saw this morning? Accidents will. The dead stock in the wash. No cattle die natural deaths, even if cow punches don't. There ain't nobody come near us. They all ride in the other direction. Maybe they took a look at you. <laughs> Listen to that bird, Happy. Why can't you always be like him? A lot of guns for a bird, don't he? I'd come from over the hill. Stay here and watch this stuff, Happy. I'll take a look. Who's gonna take care of me?
Shredder! He just dropped tank. What do we do now? No chance to finish the job. That big fellow that just took a hand. I never seen him before, but he can sure sling lead. Yeah. Here comes another. Let's pick up Hank and get out of here. Thanking you, stranger. You saved my life. I'm sorry it couldn't have been sooner. Did they finish him? Yes. He was my foreman. We used this rig because both of us have been shot up before. This is the third time they've tried to kill me. I don't know how they missed you this time. Who are they? I wish I knew. All I can tell you is a thieving, murdering band have been laying waste to this country. Who or why, nobody knows. Jim Radford, owner of the Circle R Ranch. My name is Morton, Ken Morton. And that's my partner, Happy. Don't let his name mislead you. We'll give you a hand getting him home. Uh, thank you, but Harper's is closer. I was heading that way to meet the ranchers. I wish you'd come along and tell them what you saw. Well, I didn't see much. One of them fellas just took a spill. Maybe it was a new hand, scared easy. They're not new hands, and they don't scare. Why, that's Peggy, my daughter. And the law. Yes, Sheriff Blake, late as usual. What's going on around here? Ho, ho, ho. Dad. Is Sawyer dead? Yes. What are you doing out here, Peggy? The sheriff came by to go with you. He seemed worried, and as I was too, I came with him. I thought I'd better trade along, Jim, in case somebody else took a shot at you. But I was late. Say, who are these men? Did they shoot Sawyer? No, they didn't. They saved my life. Oh, Peggy, this is Ken Morton. If it wasn't for him, you'd be a orphan now. Mr. Morton. How do you do? Thank you. Seems kind of weak at such a time. But it, it's all I can think of right now. That's all right, miss. I was glad to help. I couldn't afford to lose Dad, you know. Of course not. I wish you'd come along with us, Morton. We're trying to form an organization to fight this lawlessness. It's been going on for a month now. Just about a month, say. I'll go. Maybe I'll find somebody there that'll put me in touch with the man I'm looking for. Well, that's fine. Let's get started. Say, what did you mean by that remark about it being just a month since all this ruckus started? Oh, I was just a thinking. About what? So far as we know, Cherokee's been here just about a month. And I'll bet you anything you want that that old coot's mixed up in this devilment somewhere. Say, I thought I told you to stay back there and watch our stuff. Oh, it'll be all right. Though, so come to think of it, that coffee was strong enough to walk. Ah, let's get going. Pretty girl, ain't she? I didn't notice. Liar. Come on.
Is Hank cashed? No, he's too good to die, Young. He'll be meaner than... Uh, Ease him inside, boys, and patch him up. Hey, did you take care of that Radford job? No, I'm going to his ranch right now. Have the boys saddled. They're ready. Then what's to lay on us? All right, man, let's fly. We'll take the main road this time. Everybody's busy at Harper's talking about us. Gentlemen, I've called this meeting to decide what can be done to check this sudden outburst of lawlessness. Stock is being run off, bonds and food are being burned, our neighbors are being murdered. Oh, we've been troubled with outlaws for but nothing to compare with that of the last month. Now, Mr. Morton, today you saw Radford's foreman killed, and Radford himself barely escaped death. But being a banker as well as a rancher, I'm doubly interested also doubly endangered. Property is being devastated to such an extent that the value, in most cases, is much less than the loans that I've made on it. But I need not mention that in the face of this greater menace, that against our lives, are you sure that you wouldn't recognize the men who attacked you? Plum positive. And you wouldn't be able to identify them even if you saw them again? No. Not even if our sheriff caught him, which isn't likely. Here, Jim Radford. I'm doing all any man can. The commissioners only allow me two deputies for a county larger than most states. I can't be in a dozen places at once. Every time I start guarding something, things bust loose someplace else. Oh, everybody knows you mean all right, Blake. But we just ain't getting any protection. Now, if you ask me, information is being passed to them outlaws. Now, I've set traps for them, but they never come into them. And the information is coming from somebody's ranch. Well, it could hardly be a ranch owner who'd do such a thing. However, it might be a good idea to check on our men. Have any of you taken on any new help in the last month? Well, I've got a new hand, but my brother sent him up from the... Nothing wrong there. that we might hire Ken Morton here on our own as a ranger or marshal to help us out. He's a good man because I've seen him working, but uh, he seems to have some business of his own here. I was looking for an old character called Cherokee Jake, a partner of mine. I think he's made a rich strike around here somewhere. Nobody's made any rich strikes around here except them outlaws. I was hoping that you'd heard something in your job as a banker. No, I haven't. If anything like that happened, I'd be sure to hear of it. Of course. Say, you got an ugly, ornery old coot in jail that might be Jake? No. Well, now, I suggest that each one of us appoint one of our men as contact man. Let him always be available so that he can ride to the other ranches and spread the alarm. In that way, we'll always get... Everybody out! 
in every direction. If I saw something back at the ranch that looked mighty interesting. Come on. Happy that's Cherokee's hat. You're crazy. There are a thousand hats like that wandering around through the sagebrush. Not with a snakeskin band like that. Plug that snake myself. Besides, I ought to know the hat I paid for it. Finished him? Maybe. Especially if he did strike something rich. They might be holding him somewhere. Whichever way it is, I'm making it my business to find out what become of him. Staying here till I do. Happy, me and you are headed for town. Check on some things I want to know. Sheriff, I'd like to see you at your office later. I'll be there. I've got a foreman's job open, if you'd like it. Thanks. We'll talk it over sometime. Right now, I've got all the job I need. Oh, but surely you'll stop and eat. Not now. You hold that invitation open. I'll collect as soon as I can. You'll be welcome any time. And we'll be glad to help any way we can. Won't we, Dad? Uh, yes, yes, sure. Thanks. Come on, Happy, let's ride. Everybody but Ritter, and the one that ain't coming back. Uh, where do you reckon Ritter's gone? Where he's gone is none of your business. Well, I was just asking. Well, then quit asking. It mightn't be healthy. See him that prisoner? No. Oh, it looks like I've got to do everything around here. You can't tell me Ritter's the big boss. He's taking orders from somebody with brains.
Are you ready to tell us yet where you made that strike? I ain't any readier now than I was a month ago. There's ways to make you talk. <laughs> oh, I'll talk all right. Any time you want to. But I won't say nothing that'll interest you. He's always looking for something because he wants to break out. I don't, nother. There's a streak of pay dirt here, and I want to go after it. Besides, <laughs> why should I want to break out? I'm doing all right. I'll have plenty of time to develop my property later when I get out. You mean if you get out? Oh, I'll get out all right. <laughs> my partner be looking for me. And he got what it takes to bust things wide open. <laughs> I don't believe I had a piece. Say, I feel right sorry for you. You know it's aching to kill me, but you dasn't. Or you don't know what I do. I wouldn't count on that too much. I'm a getting a heap weary waiting around here on an old ugly coot who don't know when he's well off. Hey! Drop in again. We'll have another friendly little chat. We've got some work to do, and we've got to do it right. Things have been pretty much our way until today. We lost two men on account of that lead-slinging stranger. And that ain't all. This same stranger is the partner that old Jake, our prisoner, has been bragging about. He's found sign of Jake, and he's on the trail looking for more. But what I've seen of him, he's a bad hombre to have again you. He's heading for town. And the order's been passed that he's to stay there, permanent. I'm sending three of you after him. Slade, Bull, and Hope. I needn't tell you what to do, and how you do it depends on where you find him. You seen no old sourdough around here? Little fellow, about so hiring. Called Cherokee J. Always prospect. Nope. Never heard of him. Same. Nobody I've questioned in this town seen Cherokee. I won't believe old Jake's dead. He he just couldn't be happy. Would take a lot to down him. Maybe it's like you said. He's found something, and they're trying to make him tell where. I'm sure that's it. That's why we have to find that gang's hideout. said you didn't recognize any of them. I did say so. Well, then, I had a reason.
feel like a gunfight happened? No. Too soon after supper. And here's where you get indigestion. Just so long as it ain't lead poisoning. You're lying! Drag on it, you coyote! That's calling your shot, partner. What's going on here? Come on in, Sheriff. Take a hand. In fact, you can take three hands. Take care of that old happy. Sheriff, that's one of the men that shot Radford's foreman. That's a lie. It was Ritter fired that shot. They had good eyes. It proves you were there anyhow. The sheriff would like to have you hold these men. Maybe Radford can identify them. I don't know what you're talking about. You can hold them that long, can't you, Sheriff? Sure thing. Cut, hombre. You got nothing on me. Sure we have. What? Splinters. I ain't talking to you. If I did, they'd, they'd kill me. Who would? But you'd do the stress rope anyhow. You can't prove I killed Radford's foreman. You were shooting at him. Even if you didn't, you're just as guilty as the man that did. There's one question you're going to answer, whether you want to or not. What? Cherokee Jake alive? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. He was my partner. Not backward about telling who or what he is. Come on, spill it. Yes, he's alive. They're holding him at the hideout. Where is the hideout? I, I, I don't know. It's hard to get to. I couldn't tell it clear. What direction is it? West. How far? Won't that birdie sing? He don't know many tunes. Let me learn him some. Later, maybe. I got ideas. I was afraid of that. I see you in the office, Mr. Morton. Sure, Sheriff. Sure. He's going to put us up for the night. Maybe he's afraid to stay alone. It's like I was saying. Now, I can hold all right, but I'll have to turn the other two loose in a day or so. Better let Radford and the other ranchers have a look at them first. Well, they'd better hurry up about it. Something mighty funny about all this. Don't hear you laughing any. About Radford's foreman being the only one close together. How'd Radford come out alive? How do we know Radford didn't want his foreman shot? Why would he want that? Maybe Radford's the outlaw boss. And his foreman found it out. Say, is he crazy? Yes. But he's harmless. <laughs> what he's getting at is this. I got a hunch somebody prominent here has mixed in these outlaws. Well, actually, they're leader. Why? Things I've seen and heard since I've been here. Sheriff, you know what that meeting of Harper's? You said the outlaws were being tipped off from some ranch. That's why at Radford's I let everybody know I'd found that hat. I also made it pretty plain that me and Happy was heading for town. What then? Hadn't been in town more than half an hour and there's three killers trailing us. So somebody that was at Harper's or Radford's sent word to the gang to come after you. I'm betting that way. So since old Jake found something, they wouldn't be holding him. I want to see that old coot. I like him. Tell you what. Now, it's something I read somewhere. Suppose we turn one of them prisoners loose tonight and trail him. Too risky. He'd be hard to follow. Besides, he might head out of the country. Yeah, I never thought of that. Gives me an idea, though. Suppose tomorrow morning we take a couple of them on the range and turn them loose. We'll do that. That is, you do it. I've got to guard the prisoners. Wish you birds would put out the light, blow out the cat, go to bed. <laughs> Right here, Happy. Let's turn him loose here. Help! Come on, get out of there. Help! All right, come on,
Radford friend, you so. Don't you say just because he's got a pretty daughter that he can't be an outlaw boss, too. Get this straight. I don't care how many daughters he's got, how pretty they are. He's mixed up in this, he's gonna pay. Her experiment means anything. He's in it up to his knees, head down. You stay here and keep your eyes open, Happy. Dad, it's Mr. Morton and his friend. Oh, tell them to come in. Miss Radford? Hello. Dad would like to see you inside. If you don't mind, Miss Radford, I'd like to see him out here. Oh, Dad. Oh, howdy, Morton. Oh, Mr. Radford. There's a horse down here I'd like to have you see. Oh, sure. Where is it? Down by the corral. Oh. There he is, Mr. Radford. There he is. You ever seen him before? Sure I have. He's one of mine. Who was using him? I don't understand. Well, then, who wrote him out of here? Well, that's just what I'd like to know. Well, what do you mean, Mr. Radford? I mean that this horse and a couple of others strayed away or were stolen about a week ago. I suppose you tell me just what you're getting at. We caught some of them outlaws in town last night. One of them was riding this horse. Well, nothing strange about that. I told you the horse was stolen. We turned him loose to see where he'd go, and well, he'd come here. Kind of a letdown, wasn't it? Uh, come up to the house, Morton. I'd like to have a talk with you. All right. Happy. Hold Tarzan for me, will you? Sure. Well, we still have another horse to try. I suppose we'll waste the rest of the day watching him go someplace that don't mean anything. Oh, no, you won't. We're not going to let you get away again. The boys are coming in tonight, and there'll be music and singing. You've got to stay for it. I've got a job to do, Mom. I won't take no for an answer. I'm cooking a special dinner, and I... Miss Redford, we'll stay if I have to hog time. <laughs> Happy wants to keep his eye on you. You know, he had you figured out as being in cahoots with the outlaws. What? What a pal. Uh, you said you'd caught some of the outlaws? Yes. One of them was in on the shooting of your foreman. You're sure of that? Plum sure. I'd like to have you take a look at him. And the others, too. No rice, though. The sheriff will hold him for a couple of days. You will stay, won't you? Sure, I'd love to. I'll see how things are going in the kitchen. Put the horses in the corral. Watch them. Somebody may try to steal them. Mr. Radford, I'd like to have the names of all those men that were at that meeting of Harper's. Well, there was Harper, of course. But just a minute now. Right? And Barn. So a cowboy roams away from home. He still holds that spot he's in for the tender lonely tears. I roam on distant range and travel where it's strange. But when night falls, I feel i 
no more than I did anybody else. You mean no less? Now, hold on a minute. That's not fair. You know I'm only in this business to find my old partner. I wonder. About what? About whether you really have a partner. Just talk about you two being rangers or cattle association men. Who says so? Oh, I heard it. A little birdie, I suppose. Guess I'll have to get me a shotgun. That's Dad getting back. I was wondering where he'd gone. Well, he went to another meeting. They all took lists of their men. He thought you wouldn't be interested. Guess it was none of my business. Then you aren't a lawman. It's not. Let's talk about something interesting. You, for instance. No, you. All right. What do you find interesting? They're happy. Take cars and go back the other way. They went in that cut. That's a natural entrance to our hideout. Tough one to get into if they don't want you to. Yeah. Let's call off over here. Leave the horses to one side. Come on. I spotted two of the guards already. Me too. And they got rifles. hideout all right. Do we take it now or shall we wait? I want to be sure the big boss is there first. You stay here. I'll have him paid. More bright ideas? Yes. Let's get back to the horses. Come on, yeah. well, what's that for? Just thought I'd write some letters. Took you swell time to catch up on your correspondence. I intend to catch up on a lot more than that. All right. Don't tell me then. Just make me do all the dirty work. While I do the brain work. Come to the hideout, pronto, trouble. Say, hey, nobody else knows where the hideout is except us. And the outlaws. And their boss. So what? So I want you to take one of these notes to each one of the men that was at that meeting of Harper's. Harper and Radford both. Don't let anybody see you when you deliver them. Only the Gilly man will know what this means. You'll come here. And the others will go to the sheriff for help. Well, I hope so, Happy. Then you can pick them up and bring them back here. I'll get Lonesome to show me where these places are. I think he's square. I'm sure of it. He tried to shoot the man that stole them horses. Now, here you are. There's only one thing that bothers me. What's that? Can you be trusted to keep out of trouble till I get back here? <laughs> I'll try my best. Now, come on, Happy. Yep. Travel, will you?
wonder, what can this mean? Come to the hideout pronto. Trouble. Who could have sent that to you? Oh, it's some trick. I'll take it to the sheriff. Pete, the three of you clear out here and pick up Slim. Morton's in the pass. Get him. What does this note mean? I never sent it, Mr. Harper. You didn't? No. It's a trick. Someone knows about me. I'm in a trap. Hold on now. How'd you come in here? Over the mountain, up the foot trail. Then you didn't see the boys? No. Morton got past the guard, but I sent the men after him. Listen, I'd better get out of here. No one sees me. Maybe you're right. Whoever it is, you hold them off. What are you going to do? I'm going to take care of that old prospector back there. Hold it! 
Drop that iron. Drop it. that you found that oil on. I wish you found it. You told me so when you came to me for finances. I knew it was you that set that gang on me. I mistrusted you from the first time I saw you. Are you going to tell me whose land that oil is on? I wouldn't end and I won't now. had your chance and you wouldn't take it. Now for the last time, tell me. I won't, not even if you kill me. Oh, yes, you will. Now, and you won't see me in jail either, like you said. You're the only one that knows me. All right. I'll tell you. Take that gun out of my middle. Now, where did you find that oil? Out by the shale bank. You know, ten miles west of town. That's Radford's land, but it won't be long. Turkey. Unless you've got time to do a heap of digging. Hey, that reminds me. I've got a trace of color back there. That would be here pretty soon if he has to come along. What? Why, is that mystery gutter son of a bow-legged healing monster still trailing along after you? Yes. We ought to get out of here. You're draft. Jerky, that door is going to give away. On your toes, Cherokee. We've got to take him without a gunshot. Keep up, boys. Drop the iron. Pick up the hardware. 
your feet. Get him up. Get over there. Get that one too, Jake. Come on, get back over there. Say, what's going on here? Harper was the outlaw boss, Sheriff. Jake told me all about it. Harper? Harper, why, that sounds impossible. Where is this gold you found? Change gold? It's oil. Oil? Oh, you mean the kind the doctor gives you? Well, darn if I know. Do they? The oil was mostly on ranch land. Of course, it belonged to the ranchers. Jake was hoping he could buy it cheap before they found out its real value. Well, what was Harper's game? What was he trying to get at? Went money crazy, I guess. Started to rain a terror to push down land values. So he could buy it cheap when he found out where the oil was. Met more his match, though, when he tackled old Jake. <laughs> You're out with those prisoners. Come on. Well, if there's oil on my land, I'll be glad to cut you and your partners in on it. I wouldn't have known it was there if it wasn't for you. Thanks, Mr. Radford. You needn't do that. I suppose this oil development will keep you here. I don't care anything about oil. I'm interested in that foreman's job your father offered me. Is that all? Well, no, not quite all. If I'd known it was oil, I wouldn't have rescued you. Rescued me? Why, you didn't hear me holler for help, did you? Why, you ungrateful old horn toad. If I hadn't come a-running, you and Ken would have both been done for. It ain't no use. I'm wise to you. You were trying to cut yourself into this oil game. But I ain't dealing you no cards. 